Today is Monday, January 23rd, 2017. And I found a great video today on Facebook. Shout out to all y'all who sent me this video. This was an excellent find. This was something that was recorded in response or during one of these so-called Women's Day or Women's Marches, whatever they want to call them. I'm not quite sure what the exact name is. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But I digress. Getting back on track here. At one of these women's marches this was in los angeles you had a young man dressed in a very patriotic outfit which you'll see in the clip we're about to show in a little while he interviewed a man by the name of big joe and big joe was right on point you know he had like <laughs> he hit a lot of bombs straight out of the park he was more of a guy that was not necessarily conservative i couldn't really tell what political affiliation he was with but he was just more of a guy that just talked common sense i'm of that same kind of ilk you know, I'm a conservative, but many people think that I'm not really a conservative or they can't really tell what my political affiliation is when they speak to me, because I don't really speak from a place of politics specifically. I just speak in a common sense kind of way that anybody can relate to. It doesn't matter where you come from, what your background is. If you are on the left or on the right or whatever it is, I could pretty much identify with anybody and I can talk to you in a way that just makes common sense. You can't really ignore it or try to deny it unless you just want to ignore it or deny it now this was a beautiful example of what i do all the time and this guy here i'm not really sure who he is if he's a guy just like a random guy on the street or if he does this if he has a radio show or whatever and if you can find big joe please let me know in the comments or hit me on twitter or hit me on my social media or on my website and what we're going to do right now is get straight into the video i will do a little bit of sound effects at key points that I really enjoy and I appreciate it. And I think that people like this are out there, you know, black males that have a brain <laughs> that can think for ourselves that are not aligned with the Democrat plantation that do not just watch TV and let it speak for us. There are a lot more of us out there, but unfortunately we're often not given the light, but I think as the mainstream media begins to die, which it is, you know, the CNNs, even the Fox news, etc., they are slowly becoming less relevant. And there's a lot of changes going on in the legacy media. And I think the alternative media on YouTube and et cetera will replace them or it will be a viable competition. So with that being said, what I want to do right now is go straight to the video and check it out for yourself. Enjoy. And then we'll come back and I'll give you some more of my final thoughts. So without further ado, go ahead and roll it. Sir. All right, sir. My name is Jeffrey. What is your name? They call me Big Joe. Big Joe, yeah. I can see why. Big <laughs> Joe, what are you doing here today? I'm just passing through. I have nothing to do with this, this uh, whatever you want to call this. I don't, I don't even understand why they're having this. They had an inauguration yesterday, and now we have all this. What did Trump do for all of this to happen? He just got um, um, came into office. What is this? I see signs of unity and love and peace. And yet, uh, at his inauguration, they were burning a McDonald's, a Starbucks, limousines, and anarchy in the streets. This is the, uh, what is this? When he was elected rightfully, I mean, uh, by the majority of the country that, you know, so even though there are half the country like this that disapprove, what about the other half that do like him? What about them? What about their feelings? When, Trump, when Obama was president and he pushed his political agenda, political correctness, and he, um, he pushed all his agendas, did you see people doing all this? No, because we united behind our American president and we just, and we, we stuck it out and everything. Yeah. So, what? 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 Yeah, can you come in here? Come in here, huh? come in here. Come in, and, here, come in. Trump was no, not. Trump was not. What? What made him not? When was he not elected? You're oblivious. You're on a bicycle and you're oblivious. You're electoral. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. Are you? What do you think we're here for? Trump. We're here to make a change, and people like you change? are the reason there's still a problem. Well, listen, people I'm like against you. political people correctness. Like you. No, people like you. People like with your you. Political correctness no, your agenda. History. Political no, your correctness. History. You know no, what? Political correctness you're is un-American. Why you think? You know why Trump couldn't you get anyone to Trump. his inauguration? Because of the um, McCarthyism Hollywood. 
that was going to stigmatize somebody for supporting Trump. Yep. This is the United States of America. You could support Trump and still be without ostracizing. You want to ostracize someone and then you're going to turn around and make life difficult for them? That's a political correctness is a disease. I, oh, yeah, I feel sorry for you because Planned Parenthood is a racist system. Margaret Sanger was a um, um, Planned Parenthood. You know what? Margaret Sanger thought very little low of black people. She thought they were ignorant and they shouldn't exist and reproduce. And you know what Planned Parenthood is about? Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood is to sterilize black people. You, you cannot put down. You should company. be against um, Planned Parenthood. We shouldn't be funding no. any type of Planned no. Parenthood. Planned Parenthood is a joke. No, and anyone that doesn't know their history, know your history God about Margaret Sanger, the point. beginning of Planned God Parenthood. No. Planned Parenthood God is God. the most God. racist God. organization. Yep. Know your history before you start supporting you some. Okay? You see that? You try, try I'm, what? I'm, I, that's why I'm not a woman. I'm a man. A straight man. I'm a man. A straight man. Uh, you know your history about Planned Parenthood. Do you know about Planned Parenthood? Tell me about Planned Parenthood. Uh, Margaret Sanger. Ma 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 Margaret Sanger, the, po the whole reason for Planned Parenthood was to sterilize black people so they wouldn't reproduce. There's people, it's helping. It there are changed. people, it's helping. It changed with the rest of the yeah, world. Yeah, okay, so it Trump is not a racist. Trump is not an all this Donald Trump, Trump uh, is not a racist. Two uh, words. Uh, I'm Sorry. You can't speak Sorry those to words. who? What? People that don't Everybody support him? In the people world that, you, people that don't support him? I'm not offended by Trump. And the half the country is not offended by Trump. So what about them? What about them? What about the rest of the country that's not offended by Trump? What about them? Huh? Well, everybody's afraid of you guys because if they stand up for Trump, they're deemed a racist and everything, and everybody's terrified. Yep. And you got them doing it because of political correctness and all this craziness. This is wrong. This is the United States of America. You don't like, you say he's not your president, then you shouldn't be here. Leave. Many of the, um, um, those elitist Hollywood um, people that said they were going to leave, they didn't leave. They're protesting now. You don't like him, you don't want to be here, then leave. This is a free country. What you're doing now, you're going to bring anarchy, and then you know what's going to happen? Martial law. And you, these freedoms that you're talking about now, you're going to lose them. Yep. And then you're going to understand what real, what a real situation. You have people in this group who are socialists, who are, uh, are anti-American and anti-our freedom, and they're latching on, they're latching on, they're latching on your different causes, and they're playing on your emotions so that they can get you all riled up so that you can turn around and continue to do what you're doing and divide the country and then one and then bring about chaos and anarchy so that they can bring martial law. That's what's really going on. Open your eyes and use your head. That's what's happening. I know for a fact I've seen these socialists in your group. I've seen them at Rally Dave and make signs for you people and you don't understand what's going on. You have to open your heart. You better be smart. You might have some good causes and everything, but you need to choose your battles. You choose Trump didn't battles. do anything yet. Choose, choose your battles correctly. Our use your head. Huh? Education, what's the problem? What is Trump doing about education? He just got into office. Huh? Education, not for nothing. I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, everybody is being, the controlled media, education has taught you guys that you're following the controlled media, that whatever they de whoever they demonize, you just automatically follow. If that's what education does for you, then we need to change it. Because you shouldn't be like that. You should be free thinkers and you should be able to see right from wrong. You don't because you're following whoever, get, someone gets on TV and says, this is so, and then you just follow it. That's not using your head. That's not being smart. People, wake up. Be smart. Okay? You want to be logical. You want to be smart. Be smart. But don't follow all this nonsense 
just because? Just because? Because you want to be... There's so many people that supported Trump, but they were afraid to openly support him. But you know when they supported him? In the voting booth. Yep. And that's what, what, what all of you people didn't understand. A lot of people supported Trump, but they were afraid. They're even your friends, but they were afraid to tell you they supported him. And you know what? When they went to the voting booth, they voted for him. And that's where you got... That's where all of you people right now, all of you people are now shocked. Because you couldn't believe that he could be elected. Because nobody thought he would have been elected. But guess what? He is elected. And he is our president. And you need to you need unite behind him now. Because you know what? If you continue to do what you're doing, you are going to divide this country. You are going to bring about martial law. You're going to lose your rights. You're going to lose your freedoms. And then your biggest fear, he will be a dictator then. You better be smart, people. You don't understand what's about ready to happen. Wake up and be smart. All right, so you're able to see the video there. You know, if you are like me, if you are like-minded with myself, if you're somebody that just enjoys kind of common sense things, that was very enjoyable. You know, he wrecked those SJWs. You know, even the, the whining, crying black woman who was very attractive, by the way, she was very attractive, but you know, the whole uh, SJW angle, I wasn't really feeling, but we can get beyond that. But I digress. My point is that he wrecked her. He wrecked uh, the random white liberal guy that tried to come in and chime in. It was always one of those, always. I've noticed that in a lot of these videos where you have a black male that's giving his point of view from a conservative perspective, you got a white person, a white female liberal and or a white male liberal that try to come in from the side. And try to like give their two cents. It's like, hey, wait a minute, don't don't leave the plantation, don't leave. I saw that a lot. I saw that in the video I did about my man that was in uh Georgia, the 16-year-old, um, who was talking to the Black Lives Matter guy about you know the Trump situation when he was at a rally. It was the same thing. You had this white liberal lady that tried to come in and give her two cents, and she got summarily shut down. It always happens like that. So that's why I say to many of us that are black, many of us that are in the black community in general, keep your eyes on the ball and understand who the true enemy is. A lot of these white liberals, a lot of these people that have been indoctrinated by the SJW culture, like that very attractive black female that was in there. And then you had people that were holding signs behind them. You know, I saw that, too. They didn't want to confront him because Big Joe was pretty big and his voice was very commanding. So people that were around him. Even though they had these signs, you know, make Russia great again, et cetera, they did not want to really confront him in a real way. You had the one white liberal guy to try to do it in passing and try to like, you know, say little slick stuff thinking he didn't understand. They do that all the time, but they didn't want to really confront him in a serious way. They want to do stuff behind his back or try to walk away and stuff like that. And if he was actually be approached by somebody in a negative way, if they were to touch him, and then if he was to do something back to him, then they want to call the police. Meanwhile, they'll be out there talking about no justice, no peace, racist, police, etc. The points that he made on a serious note about, you know, this could be a civil war going on. I'm hearing a lot of that. People are calling me from all over the world asking that question. You know, I'm seeing it a lot on different people's videos. It's like civil war is coming because that's kind of where we at right now, unfortunately. But I think uh, we're not quite in a stage where we were back when we had the real war that actually you know, brought the country to one union when it split up. I don't think we're at that stage because the times are much different, you know, technology and just where we are in the country is just much different. The average person in electorate is not really built for any kind of war. You know, they will do pretty much what they're allowed to do. When discipline comes back into the country, they won't be able to do that anymore. But see, that's kind of alluding to what he was saying about martial law because they're not going to allow any kind of civil war to happen. So before that happens, they will install martial law. So when they keep on doing these crazy protests and riots, when they keep on burning down limousines and burning down Starbucks, etc., they will install some kind of martial law, maybe even Sharia law, which is a whole different story. And I digress. But they will install something like that to prevent the country from descending into complete chaos. And they already got the FEMA camps ready. The FEMA camps are ready. They stocked up. They got flat screen TVs, all that. You can get your Netflix, your, your Wi-Fi. They put a Starbucks in the FEMA camp. <laughs> they, they put a Starbucks in there. So you won't miss your mocha copper latte or whatever it is. I don't even drink coffee or alcohol, so I don't know nothing about that. But a lot of these SJWs, you know, they're going to be regretting the fact that they can't get the Wi-Fi and the Starbucks. They can't get their $10 coffee or whatever it is. So they'll put that right there in the FEMA camp and you can enjoy it there. 
There will be no exiting. They'll tell you what to do, when to do it. And then you'll be praying for the day that you were able to be out there in the streets making your own decisions rather than being under the rule of the thumb of an authoritative figure, quite literally. This is how countries completely fall apart. This is how empires fail. But, you know, it's all been written. It's happened before. It's not anything new. But I think this can be avoided, especially during the times that we are right now. Before, there was much less of ability for people to be able to get their goods and resources that the way they are now, the transportation, everything is kind of is, is vastly improved since the days of fallen empires. But I mean, imagine you had in the, in the 80s and 90s, you had the USSR that fell. Now, Russia is still there, but you got a lot of conflict in a lot of those regions that were former USSR republics and states. Now, the Americas could fall the same way, but I think we could be able to avoid that. And when more guys like Big Joe come out and give their voice, I think that will just kind of shot people back into reality. Because as I close, I'm going to say this. A lot of these SJWs who live in the fantasy world, they don't even really know what they're talking about. They don't even know really what they're out there fighting for. They have no idea what they're doing. A lot of them are being provoked and or paid by certain individuals, George Soros and etc. They'll put people out there and they'll pay them to really go against their own interests, even though they think that they are going for their own interests. You know, it's like a Jedi mind trick. But a lot of us are able to see through the fog. We understand that we will not be able to survive if we are not a unified country. We will only survive if we're unified. If we're divided, we're going to fall just like other empires in the past. So what do you think? Do you think my man Big Joe was right on point with what he was saying? Talking about, you know, if we don't come together, it could be a civil war. They're going to bring in, you know, uh, martial law. The McCarthyism in Hollywood is playing a big part of it. Do you think he was on point and or do you think we need more guys like him or do you think I'm incorrect with my assertion? Do you think Big Joe is incorrect with his assertion? Do you think we're Coons, Uncle Tom's, etc.? If so, I'd like to hear your explanation in the comments below. And one last thing I want to say, a lot of individuals want to come at us as black people that think for ourselves as somehow being race traitors. The people that don't think for themselves and allow the white liberal to entrap them on a Democrat plantation, they are the race traitors, right? They are the ones that will hold the black man and woman down on a plantation, not allowing them to be able to rise and think for themselves and become somebody. That's who the race trader is. We are not the race traders. We are the liberators. We are the free blacks trying to get the blacks on the plantation off. The people that like Mark Lamont Hill, et cetera, they're like the gatekeepers. They keep blacks where they are. We're trying to get them out. And this is the kind of thing we got to do with every day. So I think when more guys like Big Joe and myself and et cetera, come out and speak against that kind of dynamic, the better off the black community will be. And therefore, the better off the nation as a whole will be. So. Whatever your comments are, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.